Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and you are joining me once again in the designer for From the Depths. And um, today we are going to be looking at a new ship which is basically a remake of one of the existing ones uh, ready for the white flyers. Now I've started talking about it in the previous game, in the previous episode shall we say. I like the idea of the missile destroyers, but they need a bit of a rework. A couple of things that I don't like about them, or could be improved in this version 2 of the missile destroyer. Um, one is the basic shape. They are not turtle enough. They're a turtle destroyer, but they're not really very much of a turtle. So we need to fix that part. Um, two is the missiles. They've always had this um, big weakness of get hit in the um, missile bay and the whole thing goes boom. Um, it happened some time ago and I've been meaning to wanting to fix it for a long time. Uh, the other section is a general um, increase in power in the missiles of, their, of the system. In that um, I've got a hankering for having, you know, some exceeding missile spam. So, let's see what we can do in this um, so let's start with some basic design um, ideas and, and decisions to start with so let's uh, get into the build mode and start the ship off so new vehicle and we'll start with this starter block and get it out of the water so we're let's say missile destroyer so we're gonna go for um, let's think about this. It's going to be a bit wider than the existing ship, going with the uh, the whole turtle part of it. Uh, about that wide. So um, we, we're going to need a fair bit of width for the missiles. So now the missiles will be the key bit. And I've forgotten the good old mirror line, so we'll put it in now. A bit late, but uh, it'll be there for the next time. Um, so yeah, we're... The missile systems will be the key, obviously. Uh, we're going to go a bit wider, um, sort of fitting in with the whole semi-turtle idea. Um, uh, that should be. Able to, we'll work on the length, to see how it how it fits in with the missile system. Uh, we're going to go. I like the idea of, of uh, more wood on the top as a the turtle shell, for want of a better word. Some nice, some nice. Um, uh, angling on it etc to make it look nice uh, and just why not weapon systems now we're gonna need obviously the missile system is gonna be its main main weapon system and I want it to be able to fire say maybe three times go you know, continuously so at big targets it's gonna aim at the biggest target in range um, and fire a lot of missiles at the target. Um, it, uh, I'm just trying to think. It'll need some other, um, possibly air-to-air -air based missile system. Again, possibly on the rear um, of the ship, uh, similar to the existing model. So we've got an, an extra bay of missiles, purely an air, short-range air-to-air missile system. Uh, maybe medium range on the air, but air to air. We then got um, the main missile bay is going to be longish, med medium to long range. So we're looking at 500 to 800 meters, um, 850. We'll see what the missile range ends up being, but somewhere in that sort of range, um, not over a thousand. So it's going to close first and then um, uh, start firing. So it's not going to be, a, 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 which is a bit of a disadvantage in that it's not go, it's not going to be a first shot weapon. That as soon as you spawn, it's not going to start firing. It will it will fire after it's closed, uh, then go under the water and launch all of its missiles. Um, so yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, that, sh that should work. What we will need is some defence against uh, ships that very get very close or some defensive close defensive system might put that at the front actually thinking about it now the idea is either 
go for the AA cannon on the front a little turret or you know a single turret the only problem with that is I want to use some laser missiles uh, laser guided and if we put a turret on the front then uh, basically it will get in the way of the laser so unless the turret is very low and if I, by making it very low we will reduce the height of uh, sorry the effectiveness of any system now option two put the turret nearer the rear so the, the short range is nearer the rear um, option three it's miss a, a short range missile system which i might go for actually because this is a missile boat so basically it's missiles all the way so yeah yeah we work on that so let's go for our primary start with our primary system now we allow um, a bit of four at the front to, to allow for a little bit of up and then back in again as our basic front of the shell. Uh, we haven't got a head sticking out of our turtles. We haven't got a turtle head. Um, that's got so, so many bad connotations. Anyway, this will set up the size of the missile. Now, let's see. Um, how high do we want to go? Um, how much height do we want to have the missile system now I want to get uh, also number of missiles how many rows have we got here one two three four so we could go for the so six-way connectors um, we could go something like this um, as a starting position for a missile now I want to make this now I'm doing them sideways um, so that if we're going in towards an enemy and getting shots they are not going to get the missiles straight down the length now obviously if you're then going into a broadside with somebody it's a different matter but we're looking to that one okay so if we do that and then we have a missile launch pad go facing upwards Uh, a little bit like that then we put a ejector on here on both of them just to give it that extra pop out of the water which I think will be uh, a great use we won't put one in the middle there we go so, so that's 16 missiles mm, that's not too bad that's not too bad at all now missile blocks uh, I'm facing the other way. There we go. Um, let's see what missiles. It's, it's going to come down to what missiles we can fit in. Now we could go. Say, I like the idea of a four-block missile. Although I normally have five as the minimum. Um, this is all to be sort of calculated mathematically. Now a reloading of a missile is two seconds per block so that means that each of these missiles will take um two four six eight seconds to launch uh, to reload if there's ammo and we've got 16 of them so when they fire if we fire that with a half second stagger it means by the time it gets to the end if there is enough ammo it would start at the beginning again now, if I made this a five block, I would need to increase the number of missiles to account for the uh, additional time. It's now a 10 second reload at time. So um, I would need 20 missiles. So I need, need to put another four in, uh, which we could do. I could just put an extra one on this side. Um, I'm just thinking four as well is good we've got a height of six which is a little high um, but workable um, I could reduce this height by moving the six-way block but I think we're gonna run out of space so I think we'll go with a bit of height on these uh, yeah we'll go now the front ones let's make these first ones some nice laser guided missiles let's just go with 
this for a moment and a missile admitter and if we put the all of the controller bits and everything we can put them underneath here to, for compactness so if we put our missile controller underneath the launchers there that should fill them all in excellent now we'll put our stagger we won't need to, we don't need to identify friend and foe for laser because we can uh, uh, let the uh, computer sort that out the uh, computer the ai so we just need to put a stagger in let's make sure it's facing the right way whoops there we go that can go in and uh, we might as well set it up the far, half a second delay now let's just check on these missiles shoo shoo we're each bank of missiles we're going to have let's say we have four banks of missiles and each one has a slight difference in their uh, missile design so short range thruster oops short range thruster with a little delay in its, its thing so it jumps out the water then fires there we go um, i like the fin at the back fuel tank possibly three fuel tanks that should get it around the well, i think that'll get about 900 so 850 range should be fine um now we've got the laser now this is where we've got a choice in a weaponry um let's say on this first one we're gonna go for fragmentation and i'm gonna add an extra fin uh, so this will be our armor piercing warhead with a couple of fins so it'll turn quickly towards the enemy uh, now yeah i'm gonna put the fin there because i like that symmetry of it uh, side to all. so that's the main difference on this one will be it's a two fin missile which means when it goes up it'll turn quickly to face the enemy and fire so that's quite good now what we'll need to do is put some blocks in um, so this is going to be an important part uh, again this is part of the whole defensive part of it in that if we get something blows the crap out of this missile system it won't blow the crap out of everything uh, any explosion will be isolated to the single missile system which is um, been hit i think that would be a uh, an important consideration now i did think about um for, for, blah, blah, blah. let's start that one again fail safes um i think i said previously i've had some problems with fail safes in that the biggest problem with them is that they detect the shield as um being an obstruction and stops it firing um so although oops is that a where's our controller uh what the, where's the controller I, did i put the controller this side or did i put the controller so i'm trying to put the ai down and i can't remember which side they put the controller um is it, is it here what's that what's that what's that ah uh, there it is there you are you're on this side okay let's um put the ai weapon controller and uh it doesn't oh gotta have it there we go might as well have it put uh pointing the right direction doesn't really matter too much but in, in this particular build there we go should be controlling one weapon there we go and uh, we will need to put a wireless receiver on it we will be relying on a single ai there we go so uh, is that about right so four should be control that 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 i'm a little bit far away i think with that there's a there's a there's a, there's a gap in that it doesn't matter if there is a gap actually um thinking about it because as long as it can still control the weapon um it's got that two range so okay that's fine that's fine not ideal but fine okay so that's number one missile we'll build up that to a height and we'll increase that if we need to maybe put a metal case with a wood structure over the top right so let's go for weapon system 
number two, or not weapon system, it will be missile bay number two. So this is going to be a copy of the previous one. We might as well put some of these um, bits down here now that while I'm thinking about it. This will be a infrared system. So we'll put the stagger in there and we'll put the AI on the opposite side. Is that what's gone wrong here? Have I got two stagger fires here? Because I used the... Um, yes, I have, haven't I? Okay, let's take that one out. I suddenly had a thought. Have I got two controllers and two stagger fires? I, I have here somewhere. Something's... something's Let's, let's just go here because I had the mirror line on when I put these down that will be why I've ended up with two mainframes yes ah, okay let's take these ones out so we've got a missile uh, there's that there we need missile controller let's just take that one out there and uh, take this one out here and take that one out there, there we go. right let's, let's just sort this out so we need the controller. Missile control. Missile command, sir. Right, okay, turn that way round. And put that in there. I hate when I make silly mistakes like that, but I, for change, I remembered the um, mirror line, and then I didn't need it at that particular moment. There's, there we go. That would have caught me out later and I wondered what the hell was going on so okay we've got that there and we're now gonna do a um, missile controller so we put all of these bits in here now and then I'll put the AI um, uh, controller back on and, uh, yeah, it's got to be the side Yes, I just deleted it. I realised that. So that's because I have had a, uh, well, he's, he's had a thought. I want to have the AI on opposite sides, just to make sure in case there's a, um, we get hit on one side, and it takes the AIs out on one side. Uh, it's unlikely. Yes, I I realise, but um, there's nothing like being prepared for the worst if at all possible there we go and another little thing i might work out is on here we're going to put a firing delay of 0.1 that way the missiles on these bays should be fire fire the next one have delay of 0.2 and then a delay of 0.3 will that work will that work Bomb, 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 point three. So they fire on the zero, that fires on the one, that fires on the two, that fires on the three, nothing fires on the four, and then this fires again on the five. Yeah, don't think it quite works out right. That's, a, that's annoying, but it's close, it is close. Um, My brain and mathematics. Now I need to put the mirror line on. There we go. Okay. I've got this this vision in my head of seeing almost constant firing of uh, the missiles. Uh, don't know if that is going to be a, a factor or possible. Uh, with the reloading times I've worked out, it shouldn't be too bad. And before I go any further, I will add the ejectors. One, two, no, I went too low. There we go. Two, three, four. Having some uh, uh, problems with the my mouse control today, obviously. One, two. 
so yeah trying to i've got this vision as i say of it all firing almost like continuously um one missile after another um as i say don't know if that's gonna work but it would be a nice um idea to have as such um this in here i'm just while i'm thinking about it um there we go so same in here we'll sort out the missiles in a second um, this will be this will be metal heavy obviously uh and uh fairly we have a problem floating let's put it that way uh, but we'll sort that out later floating is something we can do with hydrofoils and in actual fact if it does sink I'm not too bad because it's got to be a turtle so it'd be better to not have to force it underwater okay that's that there we might move them up to here but we'll leave them in there for the moment right uh, okay so let's see short range thruster two second delay some fins three fuel tanks now this we're going to need a one turn and we'll put a fragmentation on this as well there we go and we'll give it a, a reasonable um, cone of effect it's going to be a top as it hits it's again going to be fairly much a, 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 a armor piercing style of missile um, now we can't unfortunately with this number of blocks we can't muck around with the infrareds too much because they need that one turn so we're fairly fixed um, on that uh, we can't put but then again that this is going to be firing I was think, just thinking we could put target prediction or augmented on there but it will have a problem um, we're not going to be going for fast targets with these uh, missiles uh, these missiles are mainly going to be firing at the largest target in the area that would be my my intention um, so we'll see how that goes um, I've put them there I suppose I should put another set there anyway that will be that set num set number three no don't go there one two we're gonna see how much space this uses up hopefully it's not too much and we are left with enough room for the other things we need in the ship like AI and an engine all these sorts of things would be handy we turn the uh, mirror line off whilst I do the other bits now this is going to have the AI on which side it's got the AI, this is have the AI on this side so we're staggering it again and then we'll have the stagger on this side with the 0.5 delay and this will fire at 0 0.1 0 0.2 sorry and i could make that a 0 0.2 you know i could muck around with these make them a little bit closer to that 0.5 we'll have a look i think it's, it's gonna be close enough it's not gonna be perfect but it will be close all right let's put the ai in here next ai weapon controller and the wireless receiver dun 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 there we go we'll sort out all the ranges and everything later now we'll go into the missiles and put the ejectors on before i forget right. um, depth wise uh, this can go a little deeper than the gun uh, firing uh, turtle fleet uh, basically it has no guns although we've not decided that yet yeah I might still put guns on here I haven't irrevocably decided uh, on guns or no guns um, I'm still mulling it over in my mind whether it would be nice to have a gun system or just missiles I've got to put the mirror line on mirror line thank you 
See, one at one time I'm remembering the mirror line, and then at the next stage I forget it. Whoops, I'll get rid of that. Oh, no, I deleted something that I didn't want to. I'll get that in a second. We'll complete this missile system first. Now obviously a clone tool would be quite good. Now I could, what I could do here, I could make this a lot easier if I used, uh, created a, a sub-object. But uh, hmm, if I was creating thousands of these, then uh, well, more than four, I most probably would create an, uh, a sub-object. Okay, so this group, let's see, what's going to be special about you? Right, two seconds. Thank you. Uh, fins, fuel tank, fuel tank, fuel tank. One turn. Explosive warhead. And I think that's going to be all she wrote for those ones. Nice and simple missile system. Nothing overly flash. Um, if it works, why fix it type of situation. Or if it ain't bust, don't fix it is the, uh, I think, the correct analogy. So, uh, you know, that type of environment, it would still work quite nicely. And uh, yeah, 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 okay, we're going. So now we have the rear system, and there is one thing I want to change here. Having a, a single laser system is not enough, as I have experienced in the past. So um, we are going to do a for this front one. Oh, he oh, 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 has a plan. Oh, he has a plan, sir. Oh, he has a plan. How about a forward facing missile designator for this front one? There we go. I know I'm going back and, and altering things already, but it's, it's as, as you. I don't know, is it just the way my brain works? As I go along, I suddenly think of good ideas. Uh, as I'm going along and I can extend that out a little bit further so this will have one on the top and one in the very center for its firing um, we'll make it stick out a little bit it also go to the 90 degree uh, now we've got the number four missile system number four sir uh, more blocks we've got a lot of blocks here but hey ho I have no idea what are we up to already uh, only 500 blocks, so uh, yes, a lot of metal. Let's not let's not look at that that value just yet. Um, this is going to be an expensive, but anything good in life is expensive. We're not going to be cheap ass about this. We're going to make this a good missile destroyer. We need the metal anyway. We, we, you know, my ships are. Um, we, I've sort of decided. Expensive but good. There's a much better way of doing it. You know, efficient block counts. Now, which side was the AI on here? AI was this side. So this time we're going to put it all on this side. There we go. We've got the mirror line. Mirror line off, off, off. There we go. And we'll put the AI while I'm here. AI local weapon controller. Thank you, and the Utran receiver. Ding, 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 and this is going to have a delay of 0.3, which is good enough. And stagger fire uh, missiles, staggered fire. So there we go, and a half a second delay. And now ejectors and put the mirror line back on before I go any further. See, I remembered it this time. <laughs> you thought I was going to forget. So, um, I'm, actually, I thought I was going to forget, but hey ho, I didn't, which is a, uh, which is a bonus. I saved time, which is a rarity, but you know, 
that's good. Now this is going to be another laser missile system. So before I go too far, I better put the connectors up here. So first of all, we will have a central unit. Um, I think it's going to need to be about that high. Yeah, so it's a little bit higher. And then we'll also have it coming out of the side somewhere. That's just a. Um, we're going to have a fair bit of armor out the side here. So let's just say it's there for the moment. We'll work on that later. Where's that gone? I must have removed that bike and do that later. Let's do the missile blocks first. So another four high missile block. Now the up front one had two fins. Uh, so what are we going to do to make this one a little different? So right, okay, so this has got thruster, two second delay, same as the other one. Uh, one fin, three fuel tanks, don't need that. We'll have an explosive and we're going to have a laser designator. Uh, don't need target prediction because that's dealt with by the laser. So what should we go for? Should we make this extra um, explosive? Or maybe do a mixture of explosive, just make this the, the, the target, um, the destroyer missile. So give this the maximum fragmentation and um, explosive. All the previous ones in front, yeah, that's, that's, that might be good. All the previous ones in front were all armor piercing, whereas well, two armor piercing and explosive, and then we'll do an explosive and a wide angle frag, just for that extra damage capability. Um, yeah, that could be interesting. Admitter, whoops, there we go. And we'll put the ones on the end as well, so I know why these are sticking out. There we go. So, we have a passable missile system. At least the start of a, of a, of a missile system. We'll just block this off so it's the same as all the others. Ooh, come on, get in there. Get in there, boy. Get in there. That one's a bit high. It can go all the way down. There we go. Right, so we've got these. Now I need to fill in the gaps here. Um, I need to raise up the height of some of these so that they are at a, uh, a deck level. And bring this front out and sort of smooth the front out a little bit. Um, we will um, bring out the sides, make it nice and turtly. Right, so what's next? Um, just here will be the AI core. Um, yes, I'm putting it in the middle. Uh, I, don't, I think that's going to be okay. Uh, I, I, I would like to put it somewhere else. Can't think of anywhere better at this moment. So we'll put... Uh, do we need a controller? No, no let's not worry about controls. Uh, we'll put a seat in here, but... Um, getting away from the whole having to control a ship um, we can just let the ship deal with itself oh new line and we'll put in the target prioritization so we can make sure we set it to only attack of big things we're gonna need a load of well we're gonna need a chair let's put a chair in and you can sit in it for the moment thank you and we're gonna need a whole load of control blocks for controlling stuff because that's what control blocks do um, that should be enough we'll armor up this whole section so we'll need let's see another set of them uh, there we go okay so where are we so that's main missile system and I've just realized haven't put a transmitter on the top. There we go. 
Okay, so they're now all be at least working. So we've got main missile system. Now we need our potentially close range missile system. Um, so we could go for a torpedo system, a quick launch torpedo system for um, any close targets. So if anything gets within um, a short range, it could have, uh, yeah, I, I, I've got an idea, a, a short range um, torpedo system. Um, so let's go for this slightly not not a different design that's it's, um, by any stretch of the imagination but uh, a eight like that and then how about how's this st stretch our fancy I'm liking this idea um, as I say it doesn't have to be a missile um, air targets will be affected by the Uh, brain's not working by uh, an aerial system at the back so that will deal with close range aerial targets and this will deal with close range ground targets so we'll put a controller block in here uh, where are we missile controller there are under those we need to put a friend or foe because this is going to be an ai system and a stagger file at um half a second yet again and we all need to put an AI controller. Oops, new line. Don't need two AI controllers. One is sufficient. And a wireless receiver. Again, we just have one AI on this. Now these will be. No, we're going to put a tall. Ooh, harpoons. Got a feeling for harpoons. Got to do something with harpoons. Anyway, uh, uh, where are we? Torpedo propeller. Now um, we'll put a couple of fins in and then one fuel tank because this tends to sip fuel. Uh, we need a one turn, uh, that's all we're going to need um, just to make sure it turns onto the target, the fins so it turns quickly. Uh, we use yet yeah, target precision guidance, I like that for a torpedo. It could be a good or I could try augmented, but we'll try target precision, that's my favourite and explosive yeah we'll go with explosive i think on this um uh, infrared is yeah uh, should we go for shotgun um i'm i've got a feeling that what i might just do is this so we'll we'll which is a little micromanagement but we'll split them um the, the warheads down so four height explosive and four fragmentation with a 10 um, cone on them yeah yeah I, I, I like that that's, that's, that's quite good now we have to obviously make sure that uh, when we're doing the hull this could be a good bad thing and I might have to find see how they fire is obviously here we need to make sure we leave a gap now I have to be recessed quite far and we'll have to hope make sure that the missiles will actually exit out of the gap uh, now obviously they've got a two second delay and I think I've said in a previous video currently the um, delay is not saved with the ship with the schematic with the blueprint uh, it is fixed in the next version but just a second we could blow the crap out of my own ship with the uh, warheads well that would be um, a bit of a, a very quick um, yep yep that's all quickie very quick um, testing process that would be if, if that was the case so okay that's going to be a surprise for anybody that um, uh, goes from underneath so that's that there Oops. mirror line forgot the mirror line never mind engine we'll go here uh, shields we need a fair bit of shields so we're going to need about a thousand or so 
power. I think I'll leave that there. That's fine. Uh, we'll put the mirror line on now, though, since I forgot it a second ago, because, yes, I forget the mirror line. Right, engines. We'll have an engine block. Where's an engine block? There we go. Set this up forward. Now, we've got plenty of height here, so we can go for a uh, triple raise. I did have some ideas for a new engine layout. Now, I know five cranks will get about 800. I think I need a little bit more. About that should do. Let's see how that goes. And we need left and right connectors. Now, I was working on a slightly different design with cranks down below as well, but um, I haven't really finalised that. I don't think it's going to be as effective as I would like. But there is some things about the more cranks you have oops, in a system because uh, of the way the code works uh, just putting lo lots of cylinders sorry lots of cylinders um, even though you haven't got many superchargers and that makes a very efficient engine which is just uh, doesn't make sense to me that doesn't um, you know an engine should be symmetrical it's got to be balanced if it's not balanced correctly it runs rough as hell you know it's, it's not right just having just like lots of cylinders um, mathematically it may be correct aesthetically no 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 need need to be symmetrical otherwise brain stops working and brain says no now there was one thing i was going to test which i haven't tested and wherever this works I put one there and one there and then i put another cylinder in there no it doesn't do so unfortunately you can't have two connectors next to each other i was hope that's what i was hoping for uh hey ho that idea won't work um i will not give up though i will find an alternative engine see i mean i've seen some ships with like about 20 or 30 thousand power although they do have a lot of engines in there um so really I, you know, i'm not surprised actually right shall we put one in there and in there and in there and then we put one in there there all the, the big places right we'll try that design and then the rest of it will all be fuel tanks and then we'll just yeah we'll see how, see how much power we get from this I think it should be adequate. I'll go and do the top in a second. I'm just doing the edges first. One in there. And oh, I've, I've got another spot in there. There we go. There. there. Top. So there is something, I can't remember what it is, about three to one, but it's number of connections to one. So yes, I've got more fuel tanks than carbon than the superchargers but my superchargers are on the points with the maximum number of connections uh, so how many how much power have we got 2600 that should be enough that should do some um, um, a fair amount of um, thrust and damage and enough shields so that should be good right okay no complaints on that one then um, our little bit of uh, bulkhead then our rear anti-air missile system because we said it was going to be missiles missiles with more missiles because uh, missiles are good um, let's just set these now these are going to be um, Shall I follow the same basis or shall I be different? I've got a feeling to be different, but you know, uh, that's just me. I start with that, and then what if I go? How many? I mean, what if we don't have ejectors on this lot? Yeah, let's not have ejectors. So, how many can we get in here? Um, launch pads. Facing up, there we go. One, two, three, 
saw. Oops, no, down there. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. But yeah, that's that's good enough. I'm, I'm not unhappy at that. Um, we'll put some up there for controllers and, and, and stuff, although actually I don't think we'll need it. We've got plenty of room. Now we'll put some blocks in, missile blocks. That's four as a minimum. We could have a muck around with some of these, but we're, 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 the gaps aren't necessary. I could potentially, hmm. Let's see, now, uh, let's see if this will work. I, I, I have another plan, another cunning plan. Right, okay, so let's put missiles in those. Um, we should put these up here. Oop, wrong way around. I'm having thoughts of how missile connectors connect. If I take that one out, are these still connected? Connected? Not connected. Uh, so it doesn't con connect through there. So I'd, I've got these ones connected, and I could put another one, two in there. But if I take that one off, not connected, not connected. Uh, okay, that's a pity. I was hoping to like put an extra one sort of in the center as such, but it's not gonna let me. Um, whoops, wrong, wrong block. It was a, it was, an, it was just an idea. It was just an idea. So, okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, um, air to air missiles. Now, these need to be maybe a little one more high. Because um, these don't have to be, you know, they're close range, infrared. So let's go through. Delay. No, they don't get a little shove out, but not much. So we're not going to have them on a delay. Uh, they're gonna, just going to have an explosive warhead with their. Uh, we're going to put a target precision on them. They'll need the one fin, uh, a fuel tank there, and these, these two fuel tanks, couple of fins. Uh, how about yeah, maybe a second fuel thruster? Now give them a range of about only about 250, 300. Not enough range. So let's do that. So I still give them a range of about with three fins. They'll turn real quickly um, onto the target, and they'll have a range of about 500. Yeah, that will be good for them okay and we'll just finish this off oops we need uh, we've got plenty of room to put things in here so identify friend or foe uh, can go that I turn the mirror line off we can we're not gonna muck around too much with um yep we need a weapon controller and we need to put a receiver on that weapons controller. There we go. And we'll take off that fire and foe, fire and blah, 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 friend or foe, and we'll put a stagger in here. There we go. That's one thing I forgot about those. It was a friend and foe on the two infrared. So we'll go and do that in a, now before I forget. I said I was, I was just about to say, we'll do that later. I'll do it now before I forget. Now, which side has the AI? Is this AI? That's AI, so we'll put it on the opposite side. Okay, let's make sure I'm in the, the infrared. That's the infrared. So we'll put it up near, up here. There we go. And that should mean that this one needs one this side. So second set of missiles would be these ones. Yep. There we go. So we've got some friend of foes in there, just to say. Ah, so that's, that, that's a fair... Dinkum set of missiles we've got here. Now we'll put some, we're going to set some blocks up um, as protection between all of these missiles again in case they get all hit.
I'm hoping they won't get hit, but yeah, never quite know. Uh, miss one just there. There we go. That's uh, not low enough. Try that down, down a little bit further. There we go. Oh no, there's, there's, there's a, there is actually a blocker down there. So uh, we got the friend and foe and the stagger. Okay. Rightio. That looks like the basis, apart from things like a keel and uh, a hull. So we're going to build the hull out of wood. Uh, we, our deck height is going to be approximately here, uh, this level, top of these missiles. And we will then put some wood on top of those as well, maybe one or two layers of wood, just for giggles. Um, so I might leave the metal layer being the height of these missiles and then wooden layers above that uh, with gaps for the missiles. We're going to have to leave a nice big gap on the side of uh, here for these torpedoes to come uh, out from. Uh, that should be should be fine. And we'll need to let's see. Obviously, we've got propulsion is going to be required. Um, I'm getting. I'm starting to fill things in here, in here, which I don't need to, and I'm trying to explain things to you. Uh, so we'll we'll put that on the back that's going to be our rear effectively um, where our engines will go on the rear obviously to make us go forwards because otherwise it's silly going reverse everywhere um yes so i will see you shortly once the hull has had its design
Hello and welcome back to the Turtle Missile Destroyer. It's uh, ended up a little bigger than expected, but there's uh, quite a lot of missiles. So it's uh, somewhere in between the cruiser and the destroyer now. Um, as far as points go, yeah, it's quite um, large, 130,000. I was hoping that, that metal value to be nearer 80 or 90, but there's a lot of metal in here now. Um, uh, Size-wise, it's looking a little bit more turtly. I've uh, gone with the wooden top look for it to give it that uh, uh, sort of like a horned, horned shell type uh, feel to it. Um, nice and wide, etc. Gives it very good stability in the water. Uh, you can see it's still getting a good speed up with the hydrofoils. It's still getting a 20, 22, um, so that's going to give it a good out of battle speed. But more important, um, let's see, uh, any other changes? We have to extend out the lasers a little bit here. Um, otherwise, it's fairly much as we first designed it. Um, there's quite a few propellers on the back um, to obviously give it uh, that, that speed it's got at the moment to close quickly. Uh, the, the missiles are firing about a thousand meters you know 900 to a thousand meters so that's quite good They're having a few issues the torpedo launcher at the sides working quite well i haven't mucked around with them too much although i could obviously with this depth um add a few blocks and either make them a lot larger or add some like ballast or other items in there but they are working they're not don't seem to be destroying the ship uh, although on occasion um I've had the ship run over the missiles once it's fired them. Again, when the arming uh, timers are uh, fixed in the next version, um, I'll almost already make it so that they've got a longer arming uh, time before firing. Okay, so now the important bit. How does it battle? So let's bring something in, appropriate, uh, white flyers a ship let's go for a marrow pulpa uh, and we'll see how it go does against something like that we'll, where are we it's missile it's uh, torpedoes are firing uh, i'm trying to find where the target is i'm sure the lasers will soon point me so it's going underwater as you can see the uh, shields have come online and it's gone underwater so there's our target and we have some missiles start firing Ooh, some of those were a little bit off. It's the first fire. Maybe the laser didn't didn't connect properly. And uh, the next salvo. Let's see how we go. There we go. There's one. Let's get rid of that wobble. Do a project. You can see them coming in now. The volume of missiles that are just pouring in from that ship. So the first volley. I uh, don't know where that first volley is going to. There's, there's, there's at least one volley which is possibly the missile controller is not connected properly. Uh, so I'll just have to have a quick look at that. But you can see that's quite good missile velocity. Uh, number of missiles. Uh, now, so I'm not sure which one that was. Let me just see if I can find a controller that's not connected to a... Uh, yeah, it's connected to something. So that must have connectivity Let's just check it wasn't this one 7334 it could be that 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 one needs a little bit more height uh, ah this one's not connected ah so this one's come uh, disconnected somehow and there we go that is most probably why that was not firing it was relying on that front um, uh, emitter and it was not connected. There we go. That's better. Whereas this one was just not quite getting the, uh, the angle it required. Uh, I'm actually a bit dubious about this particular one. I might actually just bring it up a little bit and then put the missile, con missile laser emitter on the top of it. Potentially it was interfering with these blocks there we go that looks a little bit better i think see how that goes from there um yeah so not bad we'll give it a little another little test before we um 
call it out on this. Um, we'll give it a couple of targets. An aerial as well as um, a, a sea target. So let's go through. So let's give it, uh, what What did we do? That was a 12. Let's give it something a little bit bigger. Um, Rotarius? Yeah, we'll give it a Rotarius. And how about a um, Harpoon? So that's a couple of ships for it. We'll, we'll just come off of there so we can see if it, if it connects. So there's our targets. So we've got an air target and a sea target. Uh, the rear um, air missiles are set for air only and should only really fire at 800. That one is still not like it. I think it's actually the rear missile. Well, I'll see if it is, continues doing that. Okay, these ones, infrared, they're just, yes. Uh, they're the infrared missiles, they're coming in quite nicely. You can see the uh, laser guided ones go a little lower of the two turns and excellent and now they should start firing now that used up a good portion of the ammo but we've got good ammo uh, reproduction scale and that's coming in rather nicely you can see the lasers coming in they may have been infrared and then we've got some more coming in quite happily yeah that's um that's adequate i think for taking out our enemies significant number of missiles so all i will do offline now is uh, uh get those rear missiles working find out why they're um initially firing in the wrong direction um i guess they must have been not getting a laser target for some reason um i'll check those out uh, but otherwise, hopefully this is a, a bit of a reasonable build. A little, uh, it's, well, it's shorter in some ways, um, a little simpler. But it, we, we can see the power of the multiple missiles on this. Uh, Design-wise, eh, I've always said I'm not that aesthetically uh, pleasing. I like the little legs. These are, these are his little leggies now. I've, that's what I've, I've made them out to be. Um, so anyway... Hope you uh, enjoyed that. Please click the like and subscribe on this. But until next time, have fun.